How you doing folks? I told you I'd get these finished, didn't I? Two days, done. So we've got actually 17 stools there. I'm gonna keep one of them for the workshop. The prototype that I wasn't too keen on. I can stay down there. So they're all ready to be painted on the steel. I'm gonna take you into the workshop now because we're gonna start another job. And that is putting LED lights into the timber shelving for the gin bar which is why I've just taken all of those tops out there because they've been varnished you know so I don't want to be sanding these scaffolding boards down and putting more dust on the varnish so we've got some LED strip light you can see me way over here this stuff and we're going to insert that in a long line into the scaffolding board so that the light shines down on an angle onto all of the gym bottles. It's gonna look freaking awesome, man. So the idea is to take this profile route a bit, just here. Come on, focus on me. Take this profile route a bit here and insert a V groove across the front edge of this scaffolding board which we have on the table here and then within that front edge facing not towards the customer but towards the bottles we pop this LED tape and hopefully it looks like it's a deep enough cut we can hide that in there nobody is going to see it uh, and you'll just get walked off camera <laughs> so it'll hide in there hopefully and nobody will see the tape itself you'll just get the effect of the illuminate so oh fire engine off so yeah you'll illuminate all of the gin whiskies bourbons that kind of stuff I think it'll look good so let's try trial one let's see how this goes short today folks I've worked like a friggin dog but before I go I'll spend a couple of minutes showing you what we've done so we've got all of the seat tops varnished they're ready for just knocking back on one side and then re-varnishing to finish them off Gemma's just putting some black hammerite on all these steel chair legs so they should be finished for tomorrow pretty much ready to screw the uh, screw the tops on Got a bit of a tidy up, a little bit of a tidy up. Got rid of most of the uh, mess and shavings in here from 
installing the LED lights into the bar. So let's go through there now and have a look at how that's gone. Once again for the second time. So I've just done all this and forgot to press record, so I'll do it again for the sake of the audience. We have top, middle and bottom LED lights fitted into the front shelf of all three. I have to fiddle about a little bit in that top corner to get the wiring correct because I've only got the middle one powered up at the minute. But this is what she looks like, which I'm quite pleased with and we can speed up and slow down the flashing if we want to have them flashing or fading through the colours. You can also dim them. Is that dimming? Or you can make them brighter. I don't know if that's even working. But you can. It says it on the remote. And uh, you can just pick a fixed colour, which is probably what we'll do, to be fair. And then there's also something new appeared on the bar. We've got a Pepsi post mix gun. And yes, it does actually work. Check it out. So we had a uh, chap in today from a company called Swallow and he installed all of this. Brought his own Python and everything. So I'll take you down into the cellar and we can actually have a look at what he's put in there for us. So entering into the cellar, we can see that we've got this little postmix station installed. This has been done courtesy of Libra Drinks and we have to buy one 10 litre box of postmix syrup off them per week. As you can see we've got the home brand lemonade and then Stuart's pipped for the Pepsi and Pepsi Max for the Diet Coke and Coke option if you like. And something else I also noticed, folks. What's that? Oh yes. That is Cornelius Keg Quick Disconnects. Ain't that cheeky? Let's lift that up off the floor. So this is the remote chiller unit that chills the Python running up to the bar and the syrups as they are dispensed. And then up here, we could all do with one of these in our homebrew setup, folks. This is a carbonator. Water goes in. There's that water main that you saw me fit the other day. And carbonated liquids comes out. Yes, it friggin' does. Well, the carbonated liquid comes out through... It must come out through that tube, then. Yeah, it must come out through this tube into here where it mixes. Is that what that says? I can see that that's really cold and dripping, so I might need to do a little bit of repositioning in order to ensure that this doesn't get too wet and mouldy. Yeah, anyway, there is the post mix system for the soft drinks. It's getting kind of serious now. We are literally. Oh, don't walk into the dark, youth. We are literally uh, less than three weeks away from our opening date, should we make the 1st of November. I hope so. We've got Robbie here on Saturday to give me another hand with getting this lot commissioned. He's also bringing me a cider board and some heat dumps for the two remote chillers that I've got down here. And then hopefully we should be up and freaky running, boys and girls. But that's it for today. Like I said, I'm going to cut it short. I've, uh, I've worked really hard and I'm quite tired. And it's half past seven and I'm hungry. I had a bacon sandwich today and that's about it. So I'm going to go home and get some tea and we'll see you tomorrow.